morning good evening or good afternoon uh, today we will discuss how to set up uh, Microsoft Dynamics NAV 216 uh, demo environment on Azure so now Microsoft Azure have a template for Microsoft Dynamics nav uh, which makes it pretty easy uh, to configure uh, Microsoft Dynamics nav demo environment and that also helps us uh, while we uh, set up Navigent demo so for uh, setting up an Azure environment, you need to have an active Azure subscription. And if you are planning to give it a try, then you can get a 30 days free trial Azure subscription from Microsoft. So let's have a look how we can do that. Uh, I have already set it up, but let's Google it and see mm, Azure free trial. And once you say that, it takes you to the Microsoft Azure, uh, where there is an option based on the country that you are uh, located it gives you how much uh, amount <coughs> that you'll get for during the trial period uh, for me it's India so it's saying that I'll get 12,100 rupees credit uh, to use the free options and let's see what is there in this particular uh, free trial uh, I can have 14 virtual machines or 14 SQL database or 8 TB of storage for a month I can have my web and all those stuffs that I can do and then there are details which you can read and then there are some frequently asked questions which you can go and see that what uh, I get when you sign in how do I pay and do I the trial what should all I get and all those and then you can click on free account and go ahead and set up your free Azure subscription once your free Azure subscription is ready uh, then you want to create a uh, Microsoft Dynamics Nav demo environment which is pretty easy if you go into the details then you might get confused so the easy way to do there is you can go as aka.ms slash nav deploy nav demo deploy you should you, uh, you need to remember this link and that's pretty easy to remember uh, aka.ms slash ms deploy once you click on it, it uh, checks your subscription which you have selected. If you have already logged in, it takes you there. It selects the template and everything. It does most of the part automatically. And then you need to just do some click actions and uh, provide some parameter and uh, you are good to go with your demo environment. Uh, so let's see where it takes. So right now it's selecting the template based on what we uh, entered into the URL that we want a nav demo deploy so it will self automatically go and select a template for Navigin and um, uh, uh, let's see what happens so right now it's selecting the resources which are required a VM for Microsoft Dynamics Snap 2016 so it's doing it automatically I'm not clicking anywhere so let's see what happens once it's done so the custom deploy will take me to the Microsoft Dynamics Snap 2016 it's already selected and then there is a custom deployment where there is a template which is written there's a code which is already written for Dynamics Snap to be set up uh, let's go to the edit parameter and specify some parameter so the first parameter that I need to specify if you have multiple subscription if you are using a paid subscription you can select which one you want and then you need to specify a re uh, resource group so let's say I specify it as uh, Dhirni, uh, or I would say it's uh, Dynamics Nav uh, then it asks you the, for the location where you want to demo and uh, it should be near to the place where you want you can choose from the drop down it checks for the unique name in the resource group if it exists you get a tick otherwise you get an error message over here then you need to specify the name of your virtual machine so let's specify that and I'm doing it as this now the location where you want it so let's say I'll select Southeast Asia and then the, uh, the admin username this will be set up as administrator of Microsoft Dynamics Nav also and uh, a password which you will use to log in to this particular VM you specify that then which country uh, NAV2016 database you want so there are so many which are already there in there so I'll select let's say North America and then do you want to have Bing 
map integration we want the click ones to be set up power bi to be set up uh, if you have office 365 subscription you can specify the parameter over here I don't have it and then you click OK and that is all that you need to do so now the uh, system will create the uh, once you say create and I'll say pin to desktop uh, dashboard okay I need to uh, sorry I forgot to review the legal term so you need to go read it through and then you kind of accept it uh, if you know if you are agreed with the legal terms which are there so let's come and then it shows you the detail of everything pricing and all those stuffs and say purchase once everything is good you can click on create and uh, Microsoft uh, will be uh, creating your VM for you uh, so what actually ha happening behind the scene is uh, it's creating for you a virtual machine of Microsoft Dynamics Snap then it's create a network uh, interface for you uh, which uh, take care of your network uh, things and then there is a network security group which is created uh, I'll s we'll see it all once it's created uh, what network security group it does is uh, it uh, take care of all your navigation port settings so that you can access it uh, from anywhere in the system so once everything is set up and then it's set it up a public IP so that you can access it from anywhere and then there's a network account uh, which need to be set up so once uh, the deployment is over uh, we can see all those stuffs which we are discussing so let's wait for some time um, and let's see what happens once it's done so after a while as you can see here my the cloud server is ready and let's go inside and see the details it'll take some time to get it configured properly and once everything is set up as we were discussing it created a server a network interface a network security where your all ports detailed related to navigation and how you can access so all net security and a public IP is assigned to your uh, machine so that you can access it from anywhere so from the public IP if I uh, click on the public IP I can see the details uh, uh, for accessing the uh, my cloud server so this is my cloud URL I can kind of copy it from here there's a copy link as I did I can move to the under tab of the browser and access my cloud machine so once that cloud machine is loaded uh, the demo environment is ready and it's uh, everything has been set up for you so now for the demo if you want to use the uh, Windows client or you want to use the Android cli phone client so as we know uh, because it's on the cloud we need a certificate to be installed so you can download the certificate based on your requirement so let's say I download it for uh, Chrome so now uh, with this uh, this will download the certificate on my machine once it's selected it's downloaded uh, when you click next it's uh, pretty simple to do uh, you just click uh, next 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 on the uh, installation screen so let's say I'll install the certificate on my local machine and then it'll ask you for the permissions uh, admin permission and you need to keep the certificate on a uh, trusted root certification authority and then you click next and once you click finish your certificate has been uh, loaded on your system which supports uh, this uh, if you want to demo on the Windows client you can do it from there if you want to use the web client for the demo you can use it here if you require SOAP web services you can do it here and these are unsecure port uh, so your power BI and everything has been configured for you if you want to take the remote of the server you can do it from here and it will download the RDP file for you but let's try to access the web client for this uh, configured system uh, you need to use the same username and password which you specified during the creation of VPC uh, minus sort of nav and uh, a password so once I specify that I, it says you don't have a valid user so let me try 
might have changed it. Okay. Okay. So uh, my user ID was specified incorrectly. So uh, now I am on my cloud uh, Windows uh, uh, web client, and you can see it here. You can change the company and everything. So let's think about a scenario that. Uh, you have a custom nav solution uh, to cater some particular business areas you can get it deployed on the uh, VPC the objects that you modify and everything and it's ready for the demo anywhere you want so all the things uh, will be working during the demo when you want and you don't need to set up uh, a complete NAV for yourself and everything so like if I want to use the Windows client uh, it'll use the uh, one-click installer which has already been set up you accept the license you have your uh, 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 certificate installed and configured you just click next and it asks you it will again it'll take a while just to load it and then it will ask you for the installation of it let's say I say install so it will take a while to install the uh, Navigent just the client part to uh, run it from your system directly without installing Dynamics Nav and any update done on server with the click once it uh, always download the latest uh, fix which you have done on the server and that get deployed on your machine uh, for the uh, for execution in the same way you can use the other clients which are uh, specified here you can use the OData feed um, if you are a developer and want to do something changes on the product you can always log into the server and uh, access the developer environment over there and uh, do the changes as required if you are configuring it on a trial version which we discussed in the start of the video uh, remember that uh, the trial version remain active only for the f 30 days of the activation so make sure that whatever the things which you are modifying uh, let's say you are uh, modifying some objects you should have backup on your local because the demo uh, uh, free trial ends uh, after 30 days if you have a subscription I still would suggest to keep a backup of your objects on the server and this is how you configure it and it's pretty easy as you can see and uh, you don't need to have any component installed on your machine and uh, during a demo you don't need to get help from someone to set it up or uh, configure it for the prerequisite and all those steps uh, everything will be done uh, automatically with the template which is there so as you can see it's uh, the exe has been kind of downloaded 100 percent and uh, it should be uh, popping up the screen for the username and password as we uh, specified during the installation so let's see mm, it'll take a while so here's the same screen as we get in the Windows client. I need to specify my username and password. And as I click OK, it'll open the Windows client or the Role Tailor client for my uh, database, which is set up on the cloud. And we should be good to go. So as you can see, my Windows client has been popped up, and everything uh, it looks similar like what I install even on my, on my local computer. Uh, but right now it's configured on the cloud and everything seems to be running and working fine uh, So that's all for today. I hope you, you this video helps you somewhere when you are configuring uh, the Windows client or oh, sorry there is your uh, For dynamic snap 2016 if you have any questions mm, Please put on the comments if, if you want to share your views about the video do put them also on the comments Thank you for watching Have a nice day